Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And guys, never say that I don't give you what you want. You've all been talking about it. You all want to hear it. I got the one and only Lena the Plug, my <laughs> wife, on the podcast to talk about recent events. Yo, first and foremost, bro, this shit is fucking wicked, bro. Not even gonna lie, but you know, to each his own. I'm laughing because I'm thinking about how, like, I'd probably never come on the podcast again, but I, if I fucked another guy, so now I'm allowed to come on the podcast. <laughs> You thought you were never going to come on the podcast again? No. I mean, it's just like, you know, no one wants the Lena the Plug interview, but then I, I f someone else, and now it's like, oh, she needs an interview. Okay, you did an adult scene with yes, someone else. I mean, but it's like, nah. <laughs> it's when I think about it, I'm like, okay, cool. But this is nervous laughs. My son is dying on the inside. I ain't gonna lie. This is, this is wicked, bro. Like, is it, am I, wait, no, no, no. I ain't about to let society peer pressure me into thinking I'm an insecure ass nigga. How, bro? How? This is not wild? Well, when you were in your like mom TikTok era, probably that wasn't going to be the thing that made me like, okay, let's let's get her on. I had, I had you on here, what, a year and a half ago with Flacco? Yeah, I can't remember why we did that. Just, Just give you a little press. It. Yeah. Get some stuff out there. I feel more comfortable if he was here. I feel really, like, uncomfortable with the fact that it's just you and I and we're going to talk about this in front of my brother-in-law, Josh. He's not paying attention. <laughs> He's not even in here. Oh, he left? No, Thank that's, God. That's I was Donnie. like, oh, Josh is in here. Don't put Josh on blast. Um, <laughs> I just feel uncomfortable. No, but this might actually be the first time that you and I have been on this podcast together, just you and I, right? Uh, yeah, it is the first time. That's crazy. Also, we got married. We did get married. That didn't constitute me coming on here, but this event did. It seems like an afterthought after the last week. Yeah. <laughs> Not like actually, but in terms of content. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I didn't even really talk about the marriage that much on here because yeah. it just seemed like it was. So Wait, and they got married? I, was, I think I did see something about them having like a big ass wedding too. So nice. It was great. The honeymoon was different? great. Wait, so wait, wait, wait. Now this is crazy. So wait, they didn't get, they wasn't married before? They got married. They got married recently, and then he let son clip wifey? Yo, bro, nah, nah, that's so deep. It's like, do you feel different now? I'm like, absolutely not. It's, yeah, just, no. it's the exact same. We what? made it official. We had a nice party with the friends and family and everything. Went on the honeymoon. But it's, like, it's not like the rules changed. It's not like, oh, like, we're going to do things differently now. No, we're we, married. we already had the house, the kid. You know. Yeah, we did most of the serious stuff yeah. in advance. The marriage was like, all right, I guess we should do, just do this too. Let's fi let's finish up. Let's wrap it up. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, okay, this this is the first thing that I thought might be useful for us to lay out. Is let's lay out the chronological order of how the idea of you even working with other people became a thing. Because I have a memory of maybe six months ago where you said something like, "Do you really think that we're going to go our whole lives without?" ever sleeping with other people and in the context of like i think we we're talking about swinging mm -hmm. at first yeah i mean because people don't really know uh, this about you and i but you just mentioned it on the podcast so now i can talk about it that okay. we had a threesome early in our relationship with another guy uh -huh. and that was what wait 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 what nah you met shorty or y'all was in a relationship and y'all brought a nigga in to, to add on to the clip? To the kills? Just like we went out, we partied, we had like a really fun, hot sexual experience. And we were always kind of down for like a little bit of freaky things, you there know? There was like two or three other people in the like room. Like just watching us. Who like were not there to see us but they just happened to be in the room because we're all just hanging out. This yeah. was back in the Adam and Lena party era that didn't really last that long. And at that time, to be totally honest, you were pretty much a random girl to me. Yeah. We didn't have any kind of like we emotional connection. <laughs> was, oh my God. <laughs> That's where we were in our lives. We went to emo night, okay? Shout out emo night. <laughs> and um, I've always been somebody who throughout my life, there's been a bunch of different times where me and my homie might f a girl together. Always. Yeah, nah. I ain't gonna lie. Respectfully, respectfully, respectfully. Shout out. Ain't even no shout out, man. If you do that, my nigga, that's cool. You feel me? Niggas from all different walks of life do different things. Right? What y'all niggas do, I do the other thing. <laughs> I'm on my max bigger veil and shit, you heard? But respectfully, I just can't. I can't even participate. It just don't, it don't make sense to me. <laughs> if I'm being honest, my nigga. 
it don't make sense to me to participate. Me, another nigga, and the joint? Why? <laughs> like, why? Like, it just, respectfully, niggas have tried to talk me into it. Like, yo, it's, it's not none of that. I, yo, listen, respectfully, bro, heard you. Get somebody else to do it. <laughs> it's not going to be me, bro. Sorry. Sorry. Just, mm, the math. One plus one equals six in that equation. I don't get that. I don't, the, shit, the shit doesn't add up. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it with so you. So wait, wait, wait. But hold on. I just got off topic, though. Son clip. You clipped her. Nah, nah. You clipped, a, you clipped shorty with your friend? Or was this a random nigga? Because if you clipped her with, with, you clipped your shorty with one of your good friends or one of your friends, I feel like, Afterwards, I get serious. That relationship becomes different. Maybe it's me, but if my shorty clip any of the homies, it's clip for her. It's quiet for that. You heard? It's just me personally. Now, if she clip a random nigga that as outside of my friend group, outside of my like, specs, if he could be an associate, that's different. I don't give a fuck about that. But if he's a friend, if I consider him a friend, that's cri- I can't. I can't. I, I can't even take her serious. Maybe I'm child. Maybe I'm child you that night but then once we started to actually get closer and closer to like dating it became like no we're not talking about that anymore we literally never talked about it again and then you talked about it on the podcast we maybe didn't talk about it for like five six years yeah and then all of a sudden i mean also my 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 friend went on to (laughs) to date the guy for a really long time so that's all probably also why we didn't talk about it that is a good point yeah um huh Oh, we just embarking on pure on 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 pure freakery. This is some other shit. This is some okay. I see. See now, the relationship now makes sense. You feel me? Because they started off like this. This shit is not a shock now. But like, okay, when I think about that version of us and the version of us that isn't always gonna do, who's just very into sex and likes to try fun and new experiences i was just like are we really never gonna have an experience like that even off camera ever again and what spurred that conversation i think was the fact that we had had multiple different couples Wait, so on club talk where either they were into the swinging thing or they just did with other people separately and stuff and slowly it started to seem like well maybe this rule is kind of arbitrary well i think for us it was also seeing those couples and seeing how turned on they got by having those sexual experiences with other people which we had a lot in our relationship when we would bring girls in like i would be so much more into you after and you'd be into me it was like seeing your partner enjoying someone else's hot it turns you on so it's like i feel like that is sort of like more I need a Lena plug in my life. She letting me, feel me? She watching me clip another joint and getting vibe, like, feel me? It's getting lit. I ain't gonna lie though, I'm just, I'm be, I'm be quite honest with y'all. It's definitely gonna be one-sided. <laughs> Word, it's gonna be one-sided. I ain't even gonna lie. Double standards, y'all call it what y'all want. I can't see my partner, I can't see my shorty getting block a all crazy, block a top, block a top, block a top, and I'm just sitting there watching. Don't make sense. Now, if we, me and her participating in shorty and we doing, we you feel me, and she watching me do shorty and I'm watching her do whatever, you feel me? That's one thing. I can't watch that level of maturity or whatever the fuck you want to call it, my nigga. Can't do it. Pussy, you call me pussy, whatever. I, I don't care. I'll be whatever you want me to be, my nigga. Watching your girl get spanked? Crazy? Huh? You niggas is crazy. And y'all niggas not about to bully me or make me think that that makes you more of a man because you just watch wifey just get spanked out. Son is hunched over. Let me, let me, maybe imagery will help y'all niggas. Cause nothing else maybe will. Shorty is hunched over. You heard? Off the, hanging off the balcony. Son got the... Son got the arch in the back and everything. Bitch, shut up. Stay right there. Block a top. Block a top. Block a top. And you sitting there in the corner with the camera recording. And you thought that was gangster? Jeju, nigga. You're stupid. Are you dumb? How? You niggas crazy. Off for me because I've just gotten so used to it a little exactly. bit. Exactly. That is the problem but with us. Yeah. Like, what I feel like you 
would think it's hot <laughs> to watch me have sex with someone else because we already know you think it's hot we did it once what? but that was like my <laughs> is in your mouth and he's in your vagina yeah i'm not saying you dp'd me but like right but i'm just saying it's not like <laughs> yo yo maybe I, I think my it's my upbringing maybe my background maybe it, it, it's something not making sense but I was sitting in the corner because there's a whole narrative. Okay, I'm not, okay, I don't think you're a cuck. Are you gonna go with this? Oh, that's crazy. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, even like the reason why I said my background is different because even when like when I hear about niggas back in the day, like around my age group that used to run trains and do all that shit, I feel like their perspective wasn't like it's hot. But I don't know niggas, so I don't. Really, I really don't know the niggas, so it could be of that. Because any other thing wouldn't make sense anyway. Even though, I, first of all, it's not even supposed to make sense to me. I'm not supposed to understand this shit. I'm just. You feel me? For viewership, research purposes, I'm trying to make it make sense to, you know what I mean? Maybe that was it, though. Maybe they got turned on from other niggas being in the room, or other niggas clipping some shit, and whatever the case may be. But to my knowledge, I thought it was, this is a jump off. If you don't know what that is, go do your research. So this was a, you feel me? This was a leg, and she was just letting niggas, you feel me? This is the only opportunity niggas can really get to do whatever they got to do. So they all trying to just... You know what I'm saying? Get theirs and get out of there. But I don't know. I really don't know, bro. These niggas be moving walk. It could have been that. They could have got turned on from their mans clapping ah ahs in front of them. Watching the man buns clap paws. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't know. I don't know what niggas be on. <sighs> well, it does seem kind of stupid to the deny. Cuck, okay, so there's cu the cuck thing is different because cucks are supposed to be weak. And they want, they want to yes. be made to feel lesser. And I don't think that that's you. I think that there's like the more swinging side of things where it's like you are turned on by your wife enjoying someone. And then, they, and then she comes back to you and you guys enjoy your own personal sexual experiences more with each other because she did that. Right. But I mean, you have barely even done the thing that you're kind of inferring. Which Yo, this shit is getting too close. Just like me going and fucking another girl and they're just like telling you about it because the one time i think it was only one time on plug talk where you woke up and you were sick as a dog and so you couldn't come you couldn't come to set that day mm -hmm. but it was a girl shout out alva j everybody sign up on uh only plug talk thinks I have beef. everyone thinks i have beef with her now because she did this i don't know no. <laughs> only plug talk.com if you want to see the yeah. scene but me and alva j we did a scene while you were at home sick Puking. as a dog yeah. and uh <clears throat> you didn't want to see it afterwards you were actually a yeah, little before you left the house i was in bed i remember i was like okay go do the scene don't tell me how it went when you come back and i don't want to see any clips from it mm-hmm yeah. Which is interesting because when you came back from doing this scene the other day, I wanted to hear about it. And what? And A lot. <laughs> I, I wanted to know what I was going to find out. I wanted to know, like, what's the most extreme thing that happened? How did it play out? That's more like me wanting to, like, manage. Yo. Let me look at, let me look at this camera right now. Look at this camera right now. I got to get real close. So I'm going to try to be quiet. I'm not trying to be loud. Just be a little, you feel me? I'll be sick to my fucking slip. Underst Yo, bro, understand me when I tell you niggas. I would be sick to my fucking stomach. I wouldn't eat for a month. A month, nigga. I couldn't even, I wouldn't even be able to fix my lips to get, to, to sip a bev. Nigga, what? Asking wifey what happened? Seeing clips? Huh? Nigga, no. My, I would go deaf. Nigga, I would go deaf. I would go blind. I would become a mute, nigga. I'd be walking around this shit like some schizophrenic ass nigga. You feel me? No disrespect. I ain't trying to, you feel me, make fun of niggas or whatever. But come on, son. Huh? How we, how we wanting to see this, bro? Wifey just got blockata. On top of the blockata, you want to see the, you want to see the evidence of the blockata? Hugging and spank. Legs probably spread V, wide V. She's telling son, yo, shoot all over me. I'm happy. Give me your man juice. Pause. This is what she's saying. She's wild elated from getting violated. She not with you and you want to. Listen, Shorty is a porn star. This is what he signed up for. You feel me? I understand that. I didn't sign up for this. So this kind of lifestyle, he kind of forego once he, you feel me, made that arrangement. But I ain't going to lie. I just, I'm, niggas call me immature. Niggas call me insecure. Niggas call me whatever. I'm never. Can't watch wifey get blocked out. And still look at her the same. Nigga, I can't see a bitch. I can't see my bitch going to like a nigga. Nah, I'm wild. That was mad. I was, I'm dragging it. 
I can't. I'm just saying though. Come on, son. Nigga, if you, as a nigga, you understand you like the wrong bitch picture. Wifey is probably smacking the dog shit out of you. Huh? This shit is. You niggas may tolerate this. I can't. No disrespect though, because you feel me. This is what they on. But I'm just saying, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is this is. Shit is busting my head right now. I ain't gonna. Whatever the fallout might have been, more so than like trying to avoid. I don't know. Like, why did you? I text not Adam after the scene. I don't even tell him the scene's done. I'm just like, do you want anything from Dave's hot fried chicken? I just like act like it didn't happen. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, but okay. So we've we've had I don't know maybe 200 threesomes over the year. That was our rough Damn. estimate. Maybe like almost 100 on Plug Talk. 200 plus a bunch in our private life plus a bunch for your only fans and yeah i don't know over time we did just kind of start to sort of have that conversation and at first i think we considered the idea of like yeah you know what in, in this if we, we put in perspective you had three you had 200 threesomes with possibly just your wife and another female right i don't know if it's other niggas in there i don't know i don't even i mean at that point he signed up for the for the one nigga to volley I'm just saying, if it, it's the equivalent, one the one nigga is already is equivalent to the two hundred. It's not. It's going. It's actually that one nigga is way more pause. I'm just saying, as far as like, it's gonna hurt that nigga more. It's gonna hurt some more. Her, she probably got. I ain't gonna say she got over the two hundred three sums or whatever. You feel me? But she probably let some build up. Like uh, pause. Like uh, yeah, we're gonna get this nigga about two hundred three sums or whatever. You feel me? And I'm gonna get my. I'm gonna get my look back. I'm gonna get that one nigga, and it's gonna be that. That's swinging on camera. This nigga's stomach is mm -hmm. And then that kind of scene. And you always suggested, about. guys, I would never want to fuck. Yeah, that probably... It was always unfair trade. Intentional. So what I tell you, it was a trade-off. Two and three sums. I'm going to get my mama. Nigga, that's what she said. Pause. That's what she said. That's basically what she just said, bro. That's what you're going for. Probably, yeah. yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> but... My son was gauging like it. it. He was gauging it to see, like, all right, what's she on? You know what I mean? She ain't giving me this three hundred three sums, two hundred three sums for nothing. I'm going to suggest a couple niggas, you feel me, so she can get some get back. Nah, she went for the, you feel me? Word. Black power and all that. You feel me? It just kind of seemed like, well, if you are going to do it for the first time, we should roll it out in a way that actually is as exciting as possible. Yeah, I mean, I... I... I was never really thinking about like a rollout per se mm -hmm. and then I also like I knew it was going to be a big deal just because you know outside of you I have a, a pretty big adult fan audience and they literally every single comment on anything I post is like do a scene with the BBC do a scene with whatever this person blacked whatever so I knew that my fans were going to be excited but and I knew that the wedding thing was going to be a factor because it's like, why all of a sudden after you get married? But I didn't think it was going to be this big. But it's deal. weird because we had been talking about it before the wedding and sort of like, you know, the idea was in the was in the air, even though we hadn't made a hard yeah. decision. on. It was weird because, I yeah, that's the message I sent to Jason I was like, hey, I'm going to get married and on my honeymoon. <laughs> but when I come back, we should shoot. Right. And oh. This happened. So this did. Ha this happened right after the wedding, bro. After the honeymoon. Shorty went to Pound Town. Oh man, bro. I'm pussy. I don't niggas. Niggas call me whatever. Sassy pussy. Whatever, bro. Never. Never in your lifetime. Never in my lifetime. None of that, bro. And if it happens, it's gonna be like if shorty do if my shorty do this, this is on this is her own. You feel me? That's not even my shorty if she do this. It's not even my, it's not we it's nothing to talk about. I never agreed to consent. If, if if a bitch ever told you, if a joint ever told you I consented to any of this, if she's a liar, I must be dead. Cause bitch, you losing me. <laughs> Juju, you losing me bad badly. Understand me? Like what, bro? Texting, nah. Texting during the wedding, like I'm about to get married. After the honeymoon or during the honeymoon, I don't know. I need you to come spank me out, slap me out crazy. Pause. That's what she said. I'm bugging? And he was like, okay. All right, so 